Welcome friends, this is Rob from Grappling Hook. Today this video is about decision making strategies for your growing marijuana business. Okay, so how do we even do this? Easy peasy. Well first, let's go and take a look at our service blueprint. We'll start there. So we've gone through and we've figured out what all the steps are for our, for our service. And for each step, we've looked at and determined touch points. We've gotten our people involved, figured out. We've put in systems, our policies, anything that we know, the facts and observations, our metrics, questions, critical moments, ideas, our timeline, our money in, our money out, and our KPIs. Now, what I'm going to do real quick is tell you why, why I do this. I do it because I worked on this really fantastic, exciting project a number of years ago that I was pumped about and the client was pumped about and the community was pumped about and it seemed like the perfect thing. And this was a whole uh, vegetable cart for a community gardens that was supposed to allow it to be able to sell produce in the neighborhood as well as at the community markets and the whole idea was you know to be able to build interaction with people more so than what you would get out of a car as well as uh, enhance our communities with it so what there was a lot of moving parts there were a lot of moving parts and I was more or less the lead on this. And due to not being able to track everything so well along the way and have some sort of way to touch in and keep it all, to keep all this information, all the people involved, everything that was said, because uh, there was a lot of things just not recorded, not written down but there were word of mouth, oh yeah, yeah, I'll have that, it's going to be done, and not actually having it recorded somewhere and kept all together so everyone could see it. It made for what I believe was a failed project. I mean, we finished it. We, we did, we turned in, we finished it. It was just a bad scene all around. The client ended up not being able to pay for all of it. We weren't able to do it up to what we believed our standards should have been. And it took long. To, it took way too long. It blew the deadline we had set. Honestly. Uh, and that's why I use this tool now. And I use this process to make sure that I'm staying on track. I'm like, with projects. Especially one that's got a lot of moving parts. And there's a lot of ambiguity. So... You went through, you've already got your challenge statement figured out. We've figured out our service steps right across through here, put them in, what they all are. Now, let's go through and ask ourselves these key questions for each one. So for building, and this example is an online store, we're gonna use as an example. So for building our online store, is a computer core? Does it enable our online store? Is it core to our online store? or does it merely enhance our online store? And so honestly, I believe the computers for an online store, mm, we're gonna say that enables it. Devices as well. It's either core or enables it. Code is core to it in a way. Coffee shop, that's not. That, that's, does that enable it? Mm, maybe some of our more coffee addicted people who work out of the coffee shops, but I'm gonna just now say that enhances it. Games. Do games help our... No. Bam. See, that's gone. And honestly, it would, what I recommend doing is making a copy before we erase everything. So if we bring these back, before we erase everything, let's go and let's start make our whole service blueprint. Let's copy it. Boom. All right. And now let's, let's go over here and we'll paste it. Did it let me do it. Ah, oh, there it goes. 
a lot for it to do. This is all living on the cloud and through a real-time board.com. And so it doesn't quite perform as cleanly as if you were doing it utilizing a, uh, say something like Illustrator or InDesign. You can do this as well in Google Docs. You can do it on a wall with Post-it notes. It's whatever is going to work for you. I use real-time board. This is what works for me. You don't have to use it. Like I said, I, I just find that Google Docs, I mean, is great. It allows for much more people to be able to access it uh, and for it to live in a common shared space. On the walls, the same way that everybody comes through can have a say on it, much more so. Uh, this real-time board, you know, you have to make the extra step to access it. But it's great for demoing, I must say. So this is about done figuring itself out. Let's go ahead and make it a little bigger while it's so we can read it. And there we go. Okay. So now we have, if you look down here, we have two blueprints. Okay, it slowed, it slowed down the computer. More importantly, we have a, one that we can keep all of our master ideas, everything, even the wrong answers that could be right later, we keep them on this one. The one that's on our screen, nice and big right now, that we're going to be able to read in just a second, that is going to be our core and our enablers. And so for that, let's, let's say, for our service blueprint, we're going to write core and enablers, because this is what's going to keep us focused. It's just sticking to the core and the enablers. All right. So going back to where we were, computers, mobile devices, that's core, that, those, that enables our, the core. And if you're not sure what the core is, Look at your challenge statement. How might we rock a sustainable and profitable online mail order service? So we're going to need computers for that and devices. That's mandatory. Code is mandatory. It's on the net. One's and zeros, one's and zeros, people. Coffee shop, I want to say it is just because, you know, I like coffee. You like coffee. Probably most people do. Unless you're in Britain, then you drink tea. Nevertheless, bam. And all the Indians drinking my chai masala. I think I don't know that you're out there. All right, so games, games. I know that some of these coders, these developers, some of these people, you, you all need a break. You need to play games. Does it enable it? No, it doesn't. Does it? Is it core? No, it's not. Developers, that may be core unless you're using off the off the shelf. But we're leaving it in there. Product managers, if you're developing it, you're needing product managers as well. So maybe they enable it as well. Some cases they may merely enhance it. It's, it's going to be up to what it is with you. You make the decision. Funders. So if you're creating an online store, you're going to need money. But maybe you already have money. So we'll say funders merely enhance it, right? With that. Customers, that's core. You need customers. Otherwise, what's the point of having an online store? Headhunters. Headhunters are would enhance, I would say, by providing new employees when you need them. I don't think they enable but they may it, I don't know what your project is I'm just kind of this is all imaginary but you see what I'm doing here so then if we want to clean it up you can always grab it move it up so it's nice and pretty that's up to you for the speed of time I'm not going to I'm just gonna go a little bit more with this say I will say maybe coding is key Testing is definitely, you've got to have testing even for your online store. Just check it real quick. Research, you're probably going to have to do some research about some of the product and how to do certain things. So that enables it. Time tracking, I'd say it probably enables it. Although it may enhance, we'll leave it. Legal, yes. We'll say that's going to enable it as well. So let's think about policies. Remember, brown with systems, green where people, blue touch points. So orange is policies. We will allow you to work from anywhere as long as the proof is in the pudding. Well, let's say that, does that enable it? Uh, I think that enhances. I like it. 
but it enhances. So it's not key. Rapid iterative development. I think that's going to enable it. Failing fast, that's going to enable it. Meetings must be attended by all teams. I'm going to say, yeah, that's going to enable it. We require all teams to sign a non-disclosure agreement. Uh, it enhances it. I, you know, that's a tricky one, uh, depending on what you're working on. So since ours, ours is just an online store, I'm not going to sweat it. And we'll say this enhances it because this is just a demonstration. It's not for real. There are off-the-shelf online stores available. That could enable it. Drop shipping is a thing that may enable your product to happen, or it could be core to what you're doing. Our coders are wicked fast. Does that enhance it? Does that enable it? I think that enhances it. We have a design team. Maybe that does enable it. Store will have to be skin created around the brand. That'll be, honestly, it's kind of an enhancer at this moment. So, um, although I do believe in the power of branding. Don't get me wrong. I definitely believe in the power of branding. And I would love to say, yeah, you can put it back up if you like. And Oops. All right. Number of lines of code. So this is data, your metrics, things that you can measure. So if there's a number of lines of code, is that going to be, does that enhance it? Is that going to be core to what you're doing? Does that enable your core? I'm going to say that just, it's a merely an enhancer in this case. Percentage of failures. Um, I don't think that really, does that enable it? We'll say it does. Number of developers needed. That may actually, that enables it what you're trying to do. Number of users, customers researched. I think that will, let's say that enables it for now. Number of days until due. Yeah. How many developers will might we need? That may enable what you're trying to do. Can we use an off the shelf? That may enable what you do. Do we have a lawyer? It doesn't fully enable what you do. It's gonna enhance it. You'll need them later. Who is our UX team? Who is your UX team? Uh, is that going to enhance it? It's definitely going to make it better. Uh, will it enable it? You can make it, but you might not be successful in the long run. So I'm going to leave UX team there. All team members coming together to work on the blueprint. Man, it's going to make your blueprint so much better, so we'll leave it there. Getting all code and settings set up, that's definitely core. Getting just enough code and settings to go live, that's core. Testing is going to enable it. Researching customers, that's going to enable it. Integration of all hardware and software, that's going to be key. Okay, our customers register. Our customers register provider already has an online package available for integration. Our cash register provider already has an online package available for integration. Yeah, that enables it. Sell so sponsorships to have, have to have on team shirts. Uh, that's an enhancer. Not measure lines of code, measure success with customers and timeline. Not measure lines of code, measure success with customers and timeline. And honestly, yeah, that's going to be, that's like core to what you're doing. Make sure CEOs include information on the blueprint. Yeah, that's definitely going to enable it because if CEOs don't have come in and have any say early with people and see what's going on, then all this work that gets done can get nixed because somebody wasn't there and communicating early and that's just wasted time and money on everybody's part and feelings are hurt and grumble 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 you know and honestly when everyone's there you can have a little fun and figure it out together and get a stronger response not measuring lines of code making sure ceos start hyping it right away mm. Is that, does that enable it? Eh, somewhere between enabling and enhancing. We'll call it enhancer for just demo purposes. Hire early. I believe though, by the way, when you hire early, you should also be talking about the product as much as possible early. So we'll put it back. Get your store online by July 1st. That's gonna enable it. All code, good by September. That will enable it. 
all legal handled by May. Maybe that does enable it. it. Takes 45 minutes to research product and descriptions. Yeah, that's enabling what you're doing. A developer. Maybe you have to have a developer for this special online store, so that'll enable it. A researcher. Uh, and if you've got the money to pay for a researcher, it'll definitely make things better. So I'd say for now, we'll say it enhances it. But when you're really deep in, you're going to need that researcher and that will enable it. But for now, I'll say it. So legal facility, even still legal. When you go live, okay, the facilities. So maybe this is facilities, honestly, maybe you don't need it. Maybe that merely enhances it because you can work out of a coffee shop or a shared space or wherever. This is an online store. All right, so $100 million in funders. Does that, that would enable it? In this case, we'll say no. It enhances it. $5,000. $500,000 in sponsorships. Oh, that would enhance it. $1 million in pre-sales. Wow, that would be... Maybe that will enable it. Anyway, I can keep going. Oh, look, we're almost at the end anyway. Let's finish this up because it's fun. $400,000 from the bank. Okay, we'll say that will enable it. $400,000 in credit from Visa. We'll say that enhances it. Okay, team is working well together. That's pretty core, honestly, to... Being able to rock your online store. Customers share insights. Again, that's going to be core to rocking your online store. Customers use beta. Yeah. Able to hire within a month. Maybe that'll enhance it too. We'll just leave it for now. Developers should show proper attitude, aptitude. Well, yeah, you're going to need that. You can't hire the wrong people for what you're doing. So we'll just leave that up there. All right, so let's pull out and take a look at the work that we just did. So as you can see, for that bit, we've removed some stuff that really didn't make, really wasn't going to keep us focused. That's the idea here. So instead of having a whole lot of stuff, we have a little bit less on our plate. Now, there's still three people that you have to keep in mind for that particular step. There's three touch points you're going to have to keep in mind. There's probably more, honestly. They'll come up and you'll record them in here. Just remember to ask yourself, is this core? Does it enable it or does it merely enhance it? All right. And when you're not sure, talk about it with your teams. Talk about it with the stakeholders. Check with your customers or your or the customers that you would like to reach out to check with them and take a vote take a tally look at your data see what see what the answers are all right this is rob from grappling hook signing out hope this helps cheers